You are obviously no stranger to seeing your work on screen, but what has the experience been like of seeing a graphic novel of yours adapted to a new medium? Um, it's it's such a like leap of faith, I think, to uh, kind of let a story go and let it go and be what it has to be. Um, and so, you know, from the start, I was like, I have told my story. The graphic novel exists. That is like that version of the story. Now it's going to go and be whatever it's going to be. But it is scary. It's like, you know, is it going to be... Are they choices I'm going to agree with? Or is, is it going to feel like the same story, the same characters? And to be here at the end of it and and feel still like to still be so connected to this property and to have been able to be such a part of the process of creating this movie and getting just to like spend, continue to spend time with these characters in this world that means so much to me. It's been like, I, I try not to take a moment of it for granted because it's not something that every creator of the source material can say about the adaption of their work. Um, it's just been a real honor to be included in the process of this movie. And Nick and Troy always just like kept that conversation open and, and always just, I, I am so grateful to every single person on that production because I can't imagine the movie being in better hands. So I wonder what were the big challenges in jumping from medium to medium, like in terms of changes that had to be made and, and stuff like that? I think that there are a lot of things that um, work in a comic and you have more ability to, you have a certain ability to, to introduce plot points um, and let them kind of lead wherever they go. And um, with an animated movie, you have to really hone in on what's important because you just like, you really need to find that and you need to stick with that. So every time it starts wandering too much, you you kind of risk losing the characters or losing the emotion. Um, and so I think there were, it's like, it's a world that is so intriguing, that has so much going on in it. And there was always like the desire to explore and, and know more about it. But it was challenging because as soon as you start like getting more into the rules of the world and the setting and like all of those other things that can be so cool and so fun to like geek out about, you start losing sight of the characters. And this story really is just defined by those characters. And so when Nick, I think one thing that Nick and Troy did that was like really, really smart, which was just like always bring it back to its most simple version and always make it about the emotion of the characters uh, and their relationships to each other. So I think that that was like, um, it's it's difficult to like, it's, it's hard to like identify what that is, especially once you've been with it for a while. Um, and you really just have to come to it with fresh eyes and be like, what is the most, simple, like, uh, elemental version of this story? And how do we stay true to that? So like you said, you have been with this for quite some time, but I wonder now having seen the finished product, is there any moment, scene, beat interaction that really like sticks out to you? Like, wow, as if you are seeing it for the first time? Uh, the, the final act always hits me really hard. Everything from Nimona's uh, flashback to her friendship with Glorith, like up to her rampage through the city, that was really why, you know, having Nimona become this being of pure rage was something that, like, I it, people were nervous about it, even as a graphic novel, when you do have more freedom to kind of be more, you know, push those boundaries a little bit more. Um, it's, it's like the book is, like, weirdly gory. Every time I look back at it, I'm like, wow, you really got into drawing all that blood. <laughs> but it was like, how do you find that version that's... Um, that's family friendly, but also like doesn't sand down those rough edges because she is a character in this story is all about those rough edges, the, the anger and the grief and the loneliness and the messiness. All of that is like who she is and why I wanted to tell this story. So I think like seeing that represented of her being, of her letting that monster out after a lifetime of being told she's a monster, it's, I am just so glad that that made it to the screen and that they did such a beautiful job with it and found so much emotion in that. Um, it's definitely, uh, it, it is definitely like, I always hear the sniffles in the audience at that point and sometimes like more than sniffles. It's so emotional and it's so, it, it, it just blows my mind to see it represented like that on the screen. It's, I think it's really gonna, I think it's really gonna heal a lot of hearts cause I know that it's healed mine. So this is quite the time to be like a fan of animation. It's just an un, unparalleled moment, I guess. What, what do you think it is about a story like this that lends itself so naturally to that medium? 
I mean, I think there's so much, so much of the story is about motion. Um, it's something you can't really do in a comic. Like, I can't literally transform her from one thing to the other. I can only like, you know, imply that or, or stylize that in some way. And I think to see her like, to see that explosion of movement and watch her change between these different forms in this like unbroken line of action, it is something that like, it brings the story to life in a whole new way. And it's, you know, comics and animation are very different mediums, and yet they are they, they are in conversation. They have a lot in common. And I think that they found this, like, much more cinematic and, and like, that they found that fluidity of movement and that freedom of movement that really just brings her as a character to life. And when she comes to life, the rest of the world comes to life, too. I thought the fluidity was so, so perfect because it's so inherent to who she is. Yeah. That there's no stop and start it is it just yeah is, absolutely which i loved um so what do you hope audiences take away from from this movie when they watch it i think that um yeah i touched on it just a second ago but uh i was really struck watching it at the world premiere with like a packed theater and hearing and seeing the emotion as people responded to the movie and i realized that like i was sort of like i had put my soul into this comic and into this character and really ripped all these emotions out and laid them out for others to to read and to see and relate to. And the feeling of that, that that was happening at that moment too. And it was a little scary for, a, like for some of it, I was really nervous. It felt very vulnerable, but then to feel the love and all the energy of just like people like relating to Nimona, seeing themselves in Nimona, and as a character who came out of a time when I just felt really lonely and angry and scared and lost. It felt like it was reaching back and soothing that part of me and accepting that part of me. And I really hope that it does that for everyone who watches it, because I do think that like there's a little like we do. I think everyone kind of sees a little of themselves in Nimona. And I really just like I want people to to know that just like her, they're they're worthy of love. 